Hamish Sinclair. Howdy, viewers. If you are returning, thank you for returning. If you have subscribed, thank you for subscribing. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. In this case, Arthur meets Hamish Sinclair, who is a veteran from the Civil War. And Hamish, well, he doesn't appear until after Chapter 6. So, if you want to get his missions done before you help Sadie Adler bust John out of prison, it would be a good idea. Because once you help Sadie bust John out of prison, well, the final mission stories really start happening rapidly. And it's more difficult because you have a dead or alive uh, wanted level. So... My advice is once you meet Hamish, every day or two, he will reappear at his cabin and you can do his missions. But I'm going to do them for you here. So let's get on with parts one through four of The Veteran. Hamish was tossed from his horse and you come upon him. You can help him out and look for the horse and do him a favor. Hey, you there? Can you help? Can you help me, mister? What's the problem? My goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. I'll bear that in mind. Buell is actually really easy to find because he's gone down by the river or the lake or whatever. And yeah, you can find him on the peninsula. You can see him in the distance there. Easy, Easy does it, eh? You better calm you down. Whoa, now. Easy, easy. Easy. Once you calm Buell down, you can lead him to Hamish, and, well, then the friendship begins. I found him. You're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse, aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you want to hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. You're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. I weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. You know... That's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. 
My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. You throw me again, you old dumb bastard, I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. After a few days, a marker will appear by Hamish's cabin, and you can go visit him. Again, get these done before Chapter 6 ends. There we go. That was some ride, girl. <laughs> the door is open. Hamish! Arthur! Well, come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go to my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well, is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. <sighs> Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. Fishing with Hamish is, well, fishing with anyone else. If you do what he says, eventually you'll catch something. Oh, drop back. Uh, Hamish! Hamish! Stay there. I'm rolling out to you. Real quick! Hey, come on up here. Come on. You lost anything? <laughs> Adjust my rod. <clears throat> We're got my toes, too. They weren't wooden. <sighs> you want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. After a few attempts, I finally got it right, and we were able to bring in the fish. That took! Come on! Sorry for. You caught him. Let's row back. Here, here. Oh, the holder. Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. Oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <laughs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. <sighs> That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long.
Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. I may. After a few days, return to Hamish's cabin and you will go for part three, which is a hunting mission. Hamish. Arthur! <laughs> Come in. You said, uh, we could go for a hunt. I did. There's this huge she-wolf been stalking me the last few nights I've been out, but she can wait. <laughs> Let's talk a while. Sure. <clears throat> so what do you do? Me? Uh, <laughs> I'm a wanderer. I was born further north, but I spent a lot of time out west. Funny. I never saw myself as a wanderer. This conversation is just to transition to nighttime when the mission is going to take place. so thick. You could have walked across the whole field without your boots touching mud. <sighs> Those were bad times. Mm. Yes, they were. Would you like some more coffee? Please. What have we here? Yeah, she's right across there. That close. Oh, 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 oh. She's acting brazen. Come on. Let's mount up. Come on. She went around to the left, around the lake. Down here somewhere. The good part is you get to use your eagle eye and tracking skills to find the wolf, but like any animal hunt, it can end, how shall I say, um, not so good. What we got here? Is that a fresh kill? Could be. Is the blood set? Let me take a look. Yep, that was her dinner. Now, where'd she get to? My guess, she's gone somewhere over there. No, there's a whole lot of over there. That's the problem. I transitioned to uh, Arthur's eagle eye power and a very interesting view. There she is. Got shy all of a sudden. You got some extra miles in you tonight. Oh, if we got a chaser. Let's chase her. Tracker. Now you want to take the lead or shall I? Come on, you want to track this animal or should I? If you don't mind, I'd like to. Okay. Track him. I'll be close behind you. Either way, you take Arthur takes the lead or Hamish takes the lead, you're gonna have to track the wolves. Or the wolf. From my complete and unconditional. Yeah, I don't think the wolves would have shown much mercy. That's quite an ambush she led us into. Yeah, 
Bushwhacking, I'd call it. Huh? God damn! Over here! Over here! Yeah, that didn't go too well. For some reason, I didn't get the gun up fast enough or something didn't work well. Yeah, let's give this another shot here. Oh, you all right? I was ready to offer my complete and unconditional. Yeah, I don't think the wolves would have shown much mercy. That's quite an ambush she let us into. Yeah, bushwhacking, I'd call it. Huh? God damn! Over here! Over here! Uh you all right? Yeah. Damn. Big son of a bitch. Is that all of them? That's the best of them. Look at him. Proud thing. Scary thing. <laughs> They brought us here to be slaughtered. You were after a hunt. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I guess I got hunted. <laughs> you going back to the cabin? Yeah, nah. Still early. We'll stay up here a while. Dress this animal. I won't likely see another like him for some time. Yeah, I hope I won't <laughs> either. Thanks for taking me out. Yeah, anytime. You want to go out again? Yeah. You come by and see me. So long, then. Yeah. Wait. Here's a pelt. Thank you. Uh, you earned it. So long. Part four, of course, you return to Hamish's cabin and you begin the next hunting mission. Just a moment. Hamish. Arthur, come on in. So, how you keeping out here? Ah, keeping fine, thank you. So it's all right then, is it? Living out here, away from civilization? <laughs> civilization? Yeah, I saw what civilization and industrial advancement will get you into war. Progress, well, it ain't always progress. Besides, I ain't lonely up here. I got company. Well, I ain't company. Come look at these. Remember catching that? <sighs> I do. <laughs> I know you ain't forgot about him. Oh, I still see him in my dreams. Yeah, I got the whole of nature up here. And I'm gonna make the most of it, as long as there still is some. Whoa. They weren't lying. What's that? Right there by the outhouse. Look at the size of that boar. <sighs> Holy hell. I saw some cattle gourd the other day, but I didn't think it was possible. Let's go take care of it. Okay. Damn, I thought I got him. Pursue. I'll grab the mounts. Stop there. Naturally, you're going to have to do some tracking. Hamish comes with the horses. I'm going to fast forward through some of this because the length of the video is, well, how shall I say, getting very long and it's hard to upload those large type of videos. I'm afraid I lost seven of them. Don't worry. Tracks go this way. Come on. Over here. And fast, too. What's that? Born wolves. 
too. Damn it! Got thrown and a bastard hog got me. Now, take a bill for me, would you? And he's a good horse. He may be stubborn, but he's strong. Now, you're going to have to get your bond level up with Buell to 1 in order to sell him. Otherwise, if you make camp before you get that bond level up, he'll disappear. And to be honest with you, I sold him. But I'm going to get to Hamish's cabin first and show you what happens whenever you get there again after Hamish's death. If you ride from where Hamish died and bring Buell back to the cabin, he should be up to level one and you've bonded with him. The thing is, now you can't get into the cabin. It's locked. The side door and front door are locked. There's no back door. Since I have the Arabian, I decided to not keep Hamish's horse Buell, but sell him. And the nearest place to sell him is probably over in, well, I'm looking around the map here. But let's just say I decide to sell him and... Yeah, the nearest stable is in Van Horn Trading Post. If Buell is better than the horse you have, my advice is keep the horse. He's actually pretty good. But, like I said, I have the Arabian, and it's a much faster horse. If you look at Buell's stats, speed, accuracy, or speed, acceleration, handling, yeah, I sold them because I have Snowflake, which is my Arabian horse. Now that this is done, um, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Feel free to leave a comment. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon because I post four videos a week in regards to video games with some shorts and specials, and you don't want to miss out. As always, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.